Hey everyone, I'm here at the uh, March for Life rally here on the uh, north side of the Capitol, actually pretty close to uh, the general land office here, joined by my uh, campaign team, and uh, we're here in full force. I think we're actually the only campaign here that I'm aware, because uh, we're putting life first today. Um, 49 years after Roe v. Wade, uh, being a 45-year-old myself, I thought it was important to march for life on the year that I believe we will uh, get rid of abortion once in a life, once in once in, a, in our generation. And uh, couldn't be more proud to be a Texan, a conservative, a Catholic, a father, uh, a good husband that's going to fight for, uh, for, for life. And uh, that's why I'm here. So we're uh, marching. I think it's uh, going to be from the north side all the way to the south side. The governor will be speaking uh, a little bit later. Um, some of the most important leaders in the movement will be also speaking. Um, I also share on the campaign trail that probably the biggest honor of my lifetime was uh, speaking a few years ago and, and giving a testimonial to my faith and to why I'm strong on, on protecting life in Texas as land commissioner. I hope to do that for you as your attorney general to fight in the courthouse to say that the, the life of the unborn is more important than than, uh, than a choice of convenience. And that it's time that uh, in Texas, uh, we think about other options and we promote a culture of life, whether that's uh, praying for those that are thinking about this unfortunate uh, scourge on our society or, or considering adoption as an option. There's so many loving parents and uh, families out there that, that want to adopt. Why aren't we promoting that as, as an option? And so, um, Really excited to be here at the March for Life. I, I look forward to praying and, and thinking about uh, a good decision, a decision that is now on the table of our uh, Supreme Court. And uh, they have already heard the arguments, and maybe several of you have, and uh, many in the legal field say this is probably the best chance we will have in a very long time. And so uh, I know today we will be praying, we will be hoping, we're gonna do what we can uh, to make sure that we're ending abortion in our lifetime. So, uh, love to get your questions. If you have any, we're gonna continue marching here. This gives you a good look as to where we are we're right here. Uh, we're shutting down Austin today, ladies and gentlemen. We're shutting down Austin for life. Uh, beautiful day here, so not too late to join. Uh, we will be starting, I think, at about one o'clock uh, once the march ends. Let's see, if we've got some questions here for you. Got a lot of people jumping on. This is pretty cool. Thank you for joining. Got a lot of people watching. Thank you for joining. Do y'all have any uh, questions of me? By the way, we're right by the building that we're trying to run to get into. Uh, I don't know if the FBI is in there right now, but uh, um, I guess that's beside the point. We're here for life. We're here for life. Praise the Lord. Thank you for the prayers. Several of you are saying, cannot wait to vote. Today's about life, but uh, don't forget, early voting starts February 14th. You can still register uh, as a Republican by the end of this month. Um, so there's still time if you have not voted before or if you just haven't voted in a primary. This is your chance to, to get involved, get your voice out. Take a look at this. Look. look ch check this out, everybody. Watch this. So we're on the uh, west side of the Capitol, heading down south. Um, what an amazing uh, sea of humanity. This is what this is about. Humanity. That's why we're pro-life and that's why we're marching. Uh, thank you for the comment, David. Uh, I'm not Attorney General yet, but I'm working to get there. And with your support, we will be there. And we will fight for these values. Thank you, Frank. This is uh, a gift of the Lord. We are made in God's image. 
why are we doing what we're doing with abortion? Now, there was a really bad record. Thank you, Lila. God's bright life is for life. Check this out again. That is pretty well. They're saying, some of the organizers are saying this could be one of the bigger ones in recent time. Um, obviously with the Dobbs case, um, pending before the Supreme Court, we also have the Texas abortion law, which uh, makes it that much more difficult uh, to get an abortion. And it was a great move by the legislature. We need an attorney general that's going to uphold that. But we're also going to be thinking about that Dobbs case uh, out of Mississippi that could very well overturn Roe v. Wade. 49 years on the anniversary. Thank you, Alan, for being behind the pro-life movement 100%. I see a question from Kyle. What's the first thing you'll do when you're elected AG? Uh, first, we're, we're going to work on the southern border. Um, I've made it a priority to, to highlight my security credentials, whether that's uh, as an intelligence officer or building the Texas wall right now as your land commissioner. We're going to deploy all available legal resources to help our county sheriffs and county DAs and constables that are totally overwhelmed. Uh, DPS, Department of Public Safety in, in Texas, doing what they can under the governor's executive order, Operation Lone Star. But we need, they need legal support. That means uh, helping ranchers, landowners, uh, arrest folks uh, for criminal trespassing, um, or just helping DAs just get through uh, the claims and the prosecutions so that we can... Um, so that we can either attain, detain and understand a risk profile of folks coming across instead of instead of catch and release, which is what the Biden administration is doing. Let's see what other questions you guys got. Beautiful day. You're right, Ken. It is absolutely amazing, beautiful day here in Austin. So if you happen to be in Central Texas, come and join us. Like I said, we got about uh, about an hour before the rally starts. And you'll be joining uh, thousands of people for what will be uh, just an awesome, awesome day. Thank you, Frank, uh, on securing border. You know, actually, I was just down in the Rio Grande Valley. Uh, you know, very pro-life part of our state that um, really concerned with border security, the amount of human trafficking, the amount of fentanyl that's being uh, sent over the border that we're working on uh, interdicting, but enough fentanyl to, to basically part of this uh, overdose crisis that we're seeing in our country. And so securing the border just ties into so many different issues, human trafficking, uh, the amount of uh, public health uh, liability that's now on the balance sheets of a lot of counties as well as a big issue. Uh, visited with the Brownsville Police Association and, and also the National Border Patrol Council. They're uh, endorsing us in this race. We're really excited to have their support. Let's see, Larry, what can you do as AG for the countless that have been plagued with high violent crime? So I'm actually uh, walking, I'll give you a shot of the Capitol before I answer that question. <laughs> We're actually in the city, in the, in the heart of the defund the police movement. And, uh, you know, little known fact as that is, then Commissioner, there's a constitutional requirement to reside in the city limits. And so uh, I've had a front row seat to uh, dangerous progressive ideas with a uh, police budget defunded by over 200 million. That's resulted in uh, really low morale and recruiting here in Austin and the highest spike of homicides in uh, recorded history in the city limits of Austin. It's, you know, Manny and I, we met in law school here in Austin over uh, 20 years ago. And uh, it's hard to believe that the city has changed so much in such a terrible way. And so as AGs, there's, there's a variety of things we can do first is uh, making sure that we're backing this new law that triggers a popular vote if people choose to defund the police. Secondly is, is backing law enforcement.
by protecting qualified immunity in, in the legislature. I'm going to advocate for a bill of rights for law enforcement in Texas. Uh, about 14 other states have a bill of rights that provides basic legal protection for law enforcement, regardless of the political wins of the day. And I will support that as AG and try to get that done here in the state of Texas. Um, and I want to be chief recruiter. I, I was looking into the eyes of newly minted police cadets down in Brownsville. And I was reminded that, you know, as indicted felons in Texas, namely our current attorney general, he can't wear the police uniform himself. They want to be able to look in the eyes of somebody that they can look up to and respect. And they don't have that right now. And so I, I want to advocate for them. I want to recruit for them, get more young Texans because we're seeing high sky retirements and people leaving police academies and, and police forces throughout Texas because of the challenges that we're seeing. Thank you for the question. Let's see, David, David Finn. Yeah, we met when I did clerk for Judge Fitzwater. I was uh, asked in a recent forum my, about my judicial background. And uh, yes, I clerked in the federal district court, the Northern District of Texas with uh, Sidney Fitzwater, uh, a great um, man and judge and uh, worked with him on a variety of constitutional issues and including the First Amendment right to uh, express yourself freely in the public square. And uh, unfortunately, he was uh, blocked twice by uh, then Joe Biden, who is the uh, Judiciary Committee chair in the Senate. And that shows, uh, you know, my credentials as a young conservative working in the federal judiciary system. And so um, couldn't be more proud to have clerked for him. Just what a great advocate and what a great man. Tim is asking what about Trump support? Well, here to tell you that uh, I'm an America first man. I'm also a Texas first man. We're launching a Texas first tour starting um, this week. We're gonna hit uh, 31 cities and regions throughout the great state of Texas. Um, we've got 10 debates and forums scheduled against the, the opponents that will show up. And unfortunately, Ken is in one of them, which is pretty insulting for an incumbent not to, uh, to show up to engage voters because he's above the law and thinks that uh, he doesn't need your support or to ask for your support for him to hold public office. Um, but I'm really excited about engaging all Republicans, conservatives, Tea Party, Trump supporters, you name it. Uh, this campaign is attracting a lot of conservatives because we're focusing on sec securing the border, backing law enforcement, confronting human trafficking and restoring accountability and truth to state government. That's what this campaign is about. Let's see, Norma, we definitely need some changes in this administration. Things have gone downhill this year. Texas needs to stay strong, keep praying. Couldn't agree more. Uh, that's why we need to uh, elect somebody as attorney general to hold the line against the Biden administration, but also punch down against liberal progressive mayors and, and judges that are standing up to directives of freedom, uh, whether it's the mask mandates, the vaccination requirements, um, the pandemic policies that we've seen that have put uh, small business owners and entrepreneurs out on the street. Thank you, Frank, America first. We're putting Texas first in this campaign and excited about our Texas first tour. Check out my, uh, Facebook page where you'll see where we're going to be in the next few weeks. Uh, this week we'll be down predominantly in South Texas, Coastal Bend. Uh, I think we get to West Texas as well later in the week. And uh, really excited to continue our travel throughout uh, the great state. And if there's a city that's on there that you are in that we need to visit, please let us know. Um, we're always game to check out whatever whatever's out there and, and visit with as many voters as possible. So now we're making our way back east, just south of the Capitol, and then we'll come up Congress. What an amazing day uh, here in Austin. For those of you who aren't here, uh, guys are missing out. It's an amazing day.
any other questions you guys got? Well, uh, on that note, we're about to come up to Congress. I'm going to close it out here, but I really appreciate y'all joining. And uh, don't forget that uh, you can still register if you haven't registered by the end of the month. Reach out to our campaign website or my Facebook page to learn more about how you can register. Early voting starts February 14th. The big day is March 1st. We're excited to be your voice to remove public corruption in the agency that's entrusted with actually getting rid of that in state government. Uh, we need an attorney general that's focused on the job, getting things done for the people of Texas. So feel free to hit me up anytime on Facebook. I look forward to staying in touch. May God bless you. May God bless the great state of Texas. And let's, let's get rid of abortion. March for life. George P. for AG. Perfect. <laughs>